Okay, so you're checking this out. Do you have any idea what this is? Well, that's what this show is all about. That's why we call it... What the heck is that? Welcome to What the Heck is That? The new gadget game show. And I'm your host, Steve Greenberg. I can be seen on NBC Today Show, as well as a bunch of local stations around the country. I'm also the author of Gadget Nation. And to help identify the mystery gadget, what that gadget actually does is our panel of experts. So let's meet them. First up, we have Lois Whitman Hess. She is our Kitty Carlisle. She's the self-described digital baby because of her PR agency, HWHPR, which has introduced many innovative tech products we use today. Uh, some say Samsung made Lois rich. She says she made Samsung rich. And that's the truth. Uh, she also can be seen uh, on the podcast Lying on the Beach, which she co-hosts. And also, the you can read every day, which I do, her, her blog, DigiDave. Lois, welcome aboard. Thank you. Good to have you. Next, we have Harry Redlick. Now, Harry, uh, okay. Harry is um, an ad man who works for accounts like uh, Honda, DirecTV, eHarmony. He left all that behind him to become an actor in South Florida, appearing in many experimental and small theater productions. Nobody will ever forget the time he played a houseplant with wilting leaves. <laughs> it was a traumatic role, so uh, panelists, please, don't bring it up. He'll break down and cry in front of us. We don't need that. Harry, but that performance, Nobody does Wilted Leaves. He did an evening of Wilted Leaves. It was <laughs> phenomenal. Nobody, Harry, I'm, thank I'm, you very I'm, much. I'm bringing up, um, I'm getting ready to do Rubber Plant. <laughs> oh my God. I, you know, when you said it, I got chills. I got chills just thinking about Rubber Plant the Musical. Rubber Plant the Musical. Okay, next we have Oliver Tull. Oliver is an actor, comedian, who wants a part in the Rubber Plant Project. <laughs> He's the talk show host with 10,000 shows to his credit. He can currently be heard as the host of the podcast, Improv by Instinct. Oliver, welcome aboard. Thank you so much. You know, I've never played a plant in a production, but people have asked me to leave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah. That's a good one. Good okay. <laughs> Uh, that's that's it. That's it. You can't beat that joke. I love it. And next, we've got Tara Harper, who has also never played a plant in a land and has never been asked to leave, by the way. She said she sometimes says, leave me alone, but she doesn't say. <laughs> is a co-founder and spokesperson of Blushy, a beauty accessories company. She's often seen showcasing her company's products on QVC, and we love having her here. Thank you, Tara, for joining us. She's, she's a gadget you. aficionado. Okay, so... Let's talk about this first product right over here, this gadget right here. This is the mystery gadget. Uh, take a look at it. Now, I, it's obvious that it is a mask. So that part isn't a mystery. But what makes it so unusual? And that's really what we're lo looking for. There are lots of masks out there. Look, this is my a Gadget Nation mask you can, you can have. There, there are other fun masks that are out there. There's some not so fun masks that are out there. But what makes this mask so unusual. So, Harry, Redlick, what are your thoughts on this product? My thoughts are jumbled and confused. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, as usual. So, um, do I wear this mask during a certain time of the day or night? Uh, you can wear this mask any time you feel you need to wear this mask. Um, is this a, 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 a product that for my health? Yes, very much so. Um, does it uh, elicit a certain substance for me to breathe in? No, it does not. Okay, three down. We move over to our own Kitty Carlisle, Lois Whitman Hess. 
Lois. Um, do you need this product? I mean, does this product open and close? Uh, no, it's a, you can put it on or take it off, but it does not open and close. Um, I'm going to pick this up just so you can see the pieces of it. It has this piece. It has this piece. It oh. has this piece. The blue on it, again, is just hiding a logo that I think will give too much away, so I'm hiding it. But that's that's the you, only the blue is there. Do you need, would you use this product for photography? No. Does that look like a chin? A chin thing. Mm, no. In fact, in real life, this part here would be behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Yeah, the way, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that it's, let, me, let me think about it. Can you demonstrate how you would put it on? I can do that. Honestly, it can go two, two different ways. You can set it up so it's in front of you or behind you. So here's the mask part, like this. And this can, I guess, hang here, but really for it to work, it would have to be. I have to put my head through it after it's changed this thing, and it would be back here. But you know what? Oh, I like the look. I like the look. <laughs> you look like so Bane's speaking, father. I do look like Bane's father. <laughs> I do. I like. I like Bane's look always. That's a cool guy. Good. Ref, good cartoon reference. How many Thank questions you. do I? Did I? Uh... I think you have. I think you have one more, Lois. Do you do uh, people that are hearing hearing impaired need this for um, lip reading? No, but that's an interesting twist on it. No. Next, we go to Oliver Toe. What are your thoughts? This, see, I'm really confounded now because the piece that goes behind you. Is this a mask that allows you to smell places you have already been? Oh, no. But it's a fascinating <laughs> concept. <laughs> uh, does, the mouthpiece, uh, does it filter in any way? Um, yes, in a way it does. I would say that's a yes. OK. Uh, it's for health, remember, it's for health. Yes. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out is why the thing is behind me. And so uh, is it a mask you wear in elevators to let you know how offensive you are to other people? <laughs> that's a mask I think everybody should buy. But no, it, this does not has nothing to do with, with the smell of your own breath. <laughs> but it's a good guess. Okay. And next we go to Tara Harper. Tara, what are your thoughts about this? Is it something you wear on the plane? You could absolutely wear it on a plane. Okay. I might wear it on, I might wear it on a plane. Is it something that helps with allergies? No. Good question. Th though it, it probably, thinking about it, I don't think that's what the intention is for, but I, I could see that being helpful, Good but I don't, think, I, I don't think that's what it's for. Okay, so oh, one more for Tara, I believe. One more. So if you can wear it on a plane, so is it meant to be worn in your home or out when you're out and about? I think when you're out and about. Okay, okay so now we're going to go back around. I'm going to give you a hint, because it looks like this crowd needs a hint. So <laughs> we can switch back over here. So this piece here, which you're focusing on, this is nothing more than a battery pack. Ah. So this ah. is a power. It does have power. Hmm. And that does not open up. This does not open up. It's sealed. Um, the other side of it, if that helps at all, looks like this. And I'll give you one more little hint. Right along here, there's a very slight opening. It doesn't open up, but there's a little gap around this area right here. Okay, I don't know if this helps or doesn't help. 
but tell me your so um is it a mask that provides constantly purified air well that is pretty much nailing the intention but how is it doing that i mean there's no there's obviously no i mean i don't and i can't say you know anything 100 percent, but it's, there's not obviously not an oxygen tank attached to it so what's its secret what is it doing why why could it possibly pull off that feat so that's kind of what you have to nail here Does that mean we move on to all? Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's go on to, I let, I let me have a little follow up there. Okay, let's go on to Lois, Whitman, Hess, Arlene um, Francis. This oh, is, is Arlene obviously, Francis. this is a mask with a filter. So it fil So this mask filters out pollution. But, uh, and I think it, pollution, and I, I can even say, Pandemically, it's 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 very useful, and that's probably why this product was born because of our situation. But the secret, the question is, what is how is it doing it that's any different than you know than a gadget nation mask, which of course is you know everyone should wear. <laughs> okay, so we, we went to Lois, but now we're Oliver. Your your turn, sir. Okay, so uh, you've got a battery pack, you've got air intakes. And you've got purification going on. So, mm -hmm. uh, so the air is passing through there. The question is, how is it doing it? And I say, there is a small witch in that box, and this is a witchcraft powered mask. I okay. knew it. I knew you, it. You did it. You did it, man. No, it's not a witch. Not this time. But there's no witchcraft involved. Samantha is not part of this at all. For those and people don't understand that reference to bewitched, you'll have to Google it. Okay, uh, for our younger viewers. Okay, Tara, what are your thoughts? So it's, some form, so it's some form of a new COVID mask, right? Exactly. Something, something about it makes it work in this, this, in this environment. But what about it makes it work? Oh. Uh, no idea. I have no clue, literally. Can okay. I to, can I, sure, sure, Harry. What's your question? A follow-up. Does, does it have to do with temperature? No. Doesn't have to do with temperature. So let me give you what what do we know kills germs and viruses? That's really the answer. Oh, what? Oh. Do, yeah. What? Is what it do you like? Right? Yes, Tara got it right. And let me show you right here. This mask has UVC lights built uh -oh. into it. The air goes in here, and then you breathe it in, and the lights supposedly kill 99.9% .9 of germs and viruses. So that's what this is all about. This is a UV light mask. And let me show you how it looks when I put it on. So it's a, it's, it's a very good look. And I think the blue light brings out the <laughs> blue of my eyes. I don't know. What do you think? You look kind like a neat person. look. So this, hopefully we won't need this if we get a vaccine, but without a vaccine, this is what our lives could be like for the rest of our lives. And uh, I don't know if you feel about that idea, but you can see the lights are glowing. It feels very futuristic. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Wow. That's, that's this edition of What the Heck Is That? But next time, there'll be another mystery gadget where again we'll be asking the question, what the heck is that? And hopefully, we'll all have the answer. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye.